Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of my free to play flipping series uh, where we started with just one gold coin in free to play and we're going to work our way up until we can afford the most expensive gear in the game. Now currently that is valued at around 55 mil however in the last episode I mentioned that for every like my video series gets I will have to buy one adamant arrow extra and you guys absolutely smashed it out of the park as of the recording of this clip we're at 8,000 likes on my new video and 3,500 on the old one, uh, which means I already have to buy 11,500 adamant arrows, which is already worth around 500k. Now just to spice things up a little bit more, if we hit 50,000 likes on this video series as a whole, I will bump it up to two adamant arrows per like, and if we manage to get 100,000 likes in total, I'll bump it up to three adamant arrows per like. So if you want to help add to the stack of arrows, don't forget to leave the video a like, always helps out with the YouTube algorithm. Thank you so much guys, and let's get started. Now in the last episode, I'm going to say that I think we did pretty damn good. We started with 800k and finished with around 4 mil. Uh, we even went ahead and bought a pair of mole slippers, which we're going to get a smack on our feet right now. I am planning on periodically buying uh, items if I have excess cash because I think it shows a really cool sense of progression. Now one question people are asking is, well some of these items have stat requirements and yes I will go ahead and get them eventually. I'll probably save those ones till last, but I think I will need uh, probably 40 defense, 40 attack, and maybe even 40 ranged just to wear all of the gilded items. It will kind of ruin my like level 3 pure account, but there's no real way around that. Okay so we ended up doing a couple of really interesting flips, uh, ones I've never tried before. And well the gilded square shield we have done before, we actually made around 70k in profit on that which is massive. And now one item I didn't even really realize was free to play is the Rune Scimitar Ornament Kit. Never tried that one before, but we managed to get a 20k margin on it. Which means overall we got around 100k on that. And on the Water Talisman we got around 30k. With the Clue Scroll expansion, free to play actually does have access to Ornament Kits. Uh, which is an item type I really like doing in pay to play, so I don't see why it wouldn't work in free to play. Now we're slowly moving away from items like potatoes and... Uh, some of those kind of lower tier food items, they do work well, but they are very time consuming. Well, I tried really hard and I couldn't actually find anything else. Well, maybe I will actually flip all the way to the end just using potatoes. <laughs> well, unfortunately, it looks like I am relapsing back to my old ways. I really tried to find some new items here, but I just couldn't find anything viable. Uh, so we're going to go with that for now and we'll see how it goes. You know what, I should stop bad mouthing potatoes, they are an excellent vegetable and an even better flip apparently. We actually ended up getting a 100k in profit on just potatoes which is kind of crazy, was a little time consuming, in the end we got 100k so I can't be too mad. Now we also did a really amazing flip on the gilded square shield for 180k in profit, look at that, going from 320 up to 379 so a 60k profit on each one by far our best flip and I'm just going to put it right back in there. And now we're getting to the point now where there's just one item that is really stellar and now we're just kind of left over with a low amount of money to try to make something work in the other two offer slots. So currently we're buying Gilded Square Shields hoping to get a 60k margin. Uh, we're selling off our big stack of uh, bread and we're also going to maybe try stews. We're going to try buying around 15,000 of them and uh, yeah, that's probably going to be it for now. Okay, well everything's pretty much sold off. Our margin on the Gilded Square Shield dropped a bit, dropping to around 40k each, but that is still really good. That means we got around 160k in profit. Uh, everything else is sold off as well. We ended up losing 70k on bread, which is kind of disappointing. Regardless though, we're up to 4.5 mil again, plus if you take into account that we also invested in mole slippers, we're closer to 5 mil. Uh, so it's been a little while since I price checked one of these Gilded Square Shields, we're going to do it again and it looks like we're at about a 30k margin. It's definitely dropped a lot, but that's still probably the best margin we have. Uh, so we're going to go for 8 of them. Another really good benefit of the Gilded items is their buying limit is so high. Now, I don't think I would ever hit it because they don't have that high of a volume. Uh, but theoretically on some of them I could do upwards of 70, which is way higher than most other free to play items. Uh, so next to bear we're looking at the Gilded Plate Skirt, which again has a pretty good margin of around uh, 25k I believe. Uh, so another item I kind of scouted on GE Tracker is the Muddy Key. Now the Muddy Key is kind of interesting, it's only dropped by a couple of really weird monsters including I think Chaos Dwarves. So it has very low volume, uh, but oh my god, it actually has a 2.5k margin on it right now which is massive. I don't expect to get too many of these, but 
I'm gonna give it a shot. And if for some reason someone has a stockpile of this, we will make a lot of money. Now one thing I always recommend when you're flipping is that when you find an item that is good, just continue doing it even if it's a little boring, even if it's not flashy, it will make you the most money. And that's kind of what we're doing here. We're doing the Gilded Square Shield again and we managed to sell 10 of them for a 250k profit. We're getting up there. That's a pretty good flip even for membership. And you'll notice we already bought another 8 of them. So it's actually a pretty common item to trade even though it's kind of a rare Gilded item. Now we did manage to buy 94 muddy keys, but it took a long time. Otherwise I would probably consider this item more, but it took me about a day and a half to buy 94 of them. And it looks like the margin already crashed anyway. So I just don't think that's worth the time investment. Now I have another kind of interesting item on deck here and that is the meat pie. We bought it for 150 and we are selling it for 65. That is an absolutely massive margin. I'm going to be gone for two days leaving now. I have no clue if this item is popular. But we'll give it two days and we'll see what happens. Now I definitely kind of struggled picking an item to leave in for two days straight uh, because I was gone and I wasn't going to check the offer at all. So we decided on the meat pie, which is kind of interesting. It did take about a day and a half to buy 8,000 of them in a pretty similar amount of time to sell them off. So almost a three day turnaround, which is definitely pretty time consuming. With that said though, we did get around 150k in profit on it. One thing to keep in mind though is that even though I'm gone for two days and it was efficient to spend that entire time buying a slow item, the issue is it takes a similar amount of time to sell it back which means you're still stuck and it still takes up on your offer slot so it's eh, maybe not worth doing. Uh, on top of that we actually got about a 200k profit on the Gilded Square Shield which is a much better item in my opinion but either way that brings us up a little bit over 5 mil. So an item I've kind of had my eye on for a little while now is the Bucket of Water. Kind of an interesting item because it is a high volume item, but I don't think many people would really consider flipping it. It doesn't have a very big margin right now, only 5 GP, but if it is really quick, I think it could be a good option. Now next up here, we're going to try out a brand new gilded item, and that is the gilded plate body. Currently coming in at 2.6 mil. It's a really big uh, GP investment for me right now. But if I could get something like 100k margin on it, I think it would be worth it. Okay, and finally here we're having a look at the Gilded Medhelm again. Look at that, showing a 53k margin on GE Tracker. Looking pretty solid. Again, GE Tracker is a sponsor of mine, an excellent tool. If you're in a situation like me where I don't want to spend a ton of money price checking everything, so just looking at GE Tracker can help out a lot. Link in the description for that as always if you want to check them out. And that is going to be it for now. Oh my god guys, it is very early, uh, bear with me here. Uh, so we have two items here, the Gilded Kite Shield and the Bucket of Water. Now we did two Gilded Kite Shields and we ended up getting a 50k margin on each one. Not a very good return on investment. Probably won't do that in the future. I mean, if we compare that to the Bucket of Water, uh, we only had to invest 500k for that flip and we ended up getting 75k back. There is going to be a point when my total return on investment won't be as important because we're truly, truly bottlenecked here by the amount of offer slots. But after a while, we'll probably just take the total margin, find out what's highest, and go with that. Now, an item I've had my eye on for a long time now is a, the Dragonstone Armor Pieces. Uh, it's a really exciting item to do in free-to-play because the margins on it are very good, the volume is very low, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people don't realize that they're free-to-play at all. So we're going to start off here with the Dragonstone Plate Legs, and we're going to start with three of them. Now, to go along with the Dragonstone Plate Legs, there's also the Dragonstone Full Helm, and the plate body. Those are the two other free to play items. I uh, don't quite have enough money to invest in those as well as the bottom. And uh, so I'm gonna go with the meat pizza instead. <laughs> now that only leaves us with around 500k, not a lot of money to invest in something else. I think going forward, most likely I may even leave an offer slot empty just so we can start selling off our main item quicker. Oh wow, that was surprisingly quick. We ended up doing three of the Dragonstone plate legs already for a 53k margin on each one, which means we already got 160k on that. So I'm definitely just going to repeat that again. Now while I was waiting for the Dragonstone plate legs to sell off, I tried another item and that is the Dragonstone Full Helm, which I'm excited to show you it has actually a 100k margin on it. That is massive, especially since this item flips pretty quickly. I mean, it's not a common item by any means, but I only have to buy and sell one quantity of it versus flipping like 20,000 pieces of bread, the entire lifetime supply for like all of Canada. So at this point, I think bread 
probably a little ridiculous, like why would they do that? I think the real money is in actually uh, Trout. Got a good feeling about Trout. Wow, that's actually a really good margin, never mind. I was making the joke, but we're definitely gonna do it. There's like a 15 GP margin on that. I am just so impressed with these Dragonstone items that we actually ended up getting a 100 and 15k margin on the Dragonstone Full Helm, which is truly amazing for free-to-play, which means I got 230k in profit just on that flip of two quantity. And then on top of that, I also did another three of the Dragonstone Plate Legs for a profit of 159k, which is pretty good as well. So I think going forward, uh, the priority by far is going to be these Dragonstone items. Probably not going to do any more Trout, although not actually a terrible flip. <laughs> Oh, look at that, guys. We sold four more of the Dragonstone Full Hounds for another 115k margin each. That means on that flip of four items, we ended up getting nearly 500k in profit, which is so good. I still can't get over that. That is actually such a good free-to-play margin. And you know what we have to do? We got to beat that into the absolute dirt. We're just going to keep doing the Dragonstone items over and over and over and over again. Because you know what, that is going to make us the most money, and that is what is going to carry us to complete this challenge. So you know what guys, let's go do it. Well, I cannot believe how good these items are. I still can't get over it. The Dragonstone Plate Body has made us so much money and some of the other Dragonstone items as well. Routinely getting between 100k and 150k in profit per item means that we made actually so much money over the last couple of days. If the montage wasn't that legible, we ended up making about 2 million GP from it. Just now, we did another 3 Dragonstone Plate Bodies, which netted us another 400 and 38,000 GP in free to play that is truly amazing. Now going forward I'm probably going to continue on with more Dragonstone items but I kind of wanted to try something a bit different. The Team Cape Zero uh, for 4.2 mil. On GE Tracker it is showing a margin of 300k and I think it's worth taking a risk because that would be our biggest margin yet. But yeah we're getting very close to a green cash stack in free to play. That's exciting. Okay, the team cape didn't work out, but we did try a new item still, and that was the Amulet of Power T. Actually, a really good return on investment. I ended up getting about an 80k margin on it, which means that's a pretty cool 240k profit. And we also did five more of the Dragonstone plate bodies. Unfortunately, we did have to cut the margin a bit. Uh, oh my god, we're so close to 10 mil. 9 mil 998k, that's a little disappointing. Well, I can't end it there, that would just be a tease. But oh yeah, we also made 400k on the plate bodies just there. So yeah, we're just rolling in the dough right now. We're going to try more of the Amulets of Power. We're going to go for four of them. I mean, we might as well do more play bodies. That's such a good margin, and it won't exist forever. And I think that's all I'm going to do for now. Hopefully, we can make at least 2,000 GP with this flip, and then we'll hit that green cash stack. Well, guys, that is definitely going to do it. A couple more amazing flips coming in here on the Amulet of Power and the Dragonstone play body. I mean, look at how good all of these items are. We've been doing a ton of different flips on them. Uh, on the Amulets of Power, we ended up getting 390k in profit on five of them. So good. And on the play bodies, we got 258k, bringing us up to over 10 million GP in free to play. That is so fucking sick. But yeah, we've been truly making some serious bank the last couple of days. We are currently at 10,683k plus the mole slippers 
actually probably bringing this closer to 11 mil. I'm really, really happy with that. And I think that's a really good spot to end the episode. Uh, a ton of progress made today. I don't think I'm going to buy another item just because the next item to buy would probably be around a million GP. And I think that's a bit of an investment for now. I would imagine at the end of the next episode though, I'll probably purchase a new equipment piece. Anyway guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you're enjoying the series, let me know with a comment down below or just toss a like on the video. It always helps out a lot. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Uh, before I go here, I want to give a massive thank you to Bunny OSRS, who just joined Revolver Ocelot and Kush Patel at my Dragon tier of YouTube membership. Thank you so much guys, that's so awesome of you, I really appreciate it. Also another massive thank you to Base Titch, Nath Nashworth, and Double Talk for subscribing at the Runite tier. Thank you so much to them and the rest of my YouTube members. If you are looking for another way to support the channel, becoming a YouTube member is an awesome way to do so. You'll get yourself mentioned in my videos, a custom Discord role, as well as access to my video release schedule. Anyway guys, thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.